How's it going? Hope you're doing good. Welcome to another video of Pokari Picks. One of my personal favorite aspects of the furry fandom is its originality. And you can clearly see this in all the new fictional species that have been created within it. Such as with one of the most well-known and most loved furries of all time, Telephone, who is their own species called a Dutch Angel Dragon. But there are many, 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 many more original species out there. So today, I would like to go through my top 10 favorites. Before we do get into them though, I need to make you aware that some original species have creation restrictions. Sometimes a species creator will want to preserve the law, the integrity, and the originality of what they've created and will disallow anyone else from freely making their own one under their species name. This is described by calling it a closed species. Closed species are only available through their species creator or specially appointed admins with either explicit permissions or by characters. But on the other hand, you have open species. These have little to no restrictions and you are free to make one without explicit permission from its creator. And in the middle is semi-open species. These are open to create, but they can have very particular rules and regulations about their designs and you may need to get yours officially approved by the species creator. So please always research an original species before you go ahead and make one. And as always, this list is my personal list. Nobody else's, there's no official ranking or whatever. This is just my personal choices. We all have different likes and tastes and interests, so be sure to give me your own top 10 original species lists in the comments. Okay, so at number 10, we have my most biased pick, Stodaroos. Sodaroos are an open species that are simply just kangaroos with designs inspired by various sodas and beverages, which is what I am. I am inspired by the Japanese sports drink, Hokkaido Sweat. Sodaroos were originally created by the Furafinity user Onai Wolfwind, with the first Sodaroo being their Dr. Pepperoo back in 2010. I do wonder where that suit is now, what I wouldn't give to get a photo with it. But that's literally all there is to Sodaroos. Unfortunately, Onai's Furafinity page has been long deactivated, and the Sodaroo FA page has been inactive since 2011. I really, really, really wish Sodaroos had some more sustenance, so I've been thinking about creating my own sort of like next generation subspecies of Sodaroo with some law, some guidelines in the community, but I'm not too sure yet. Like, I don't know, scream at me in the comments if you want me to do that. <laughs> Number nine, Killer Cheese. Killer Cheese are an open species that look like a cross between an anthro cat and a fairy dragon. Created by Eo Fenstalker, they started as just a persona for themselves, but then they decided to sell them as an avatar through Second Life, and many more Kelashis came onto the scene. There is a lot to Kelashi lore, so I highly recommend checking out their wiki if you want to learn about them. I've left a link for you in the description. I think they are absolutely beautiful with the stripes combined with butterfly features. It is just so unique. I totally have them higher up on my list if they just weren't a pain in the butt for me to draw. I can't do that detail. <laughs> Number eight, Avali. Avali are an open species created by Ryujin Zero. They were first made as a creature in the game Spore, and unfortunately I can't seem to find any original pictures of that, but apparently they were wildly popular with thousands of people downloading them and adding them to their own games. Avali were later given a species revamp when they were added as a custom race mod in Starbound, and that's where I found them. From there, they've been very gradually rising in popularity, with even a couple of fursuits created now. I love how Avali have a pretty simplistic design, but they still don't look like any existing animals. Maybe like a raptor mixed with, with a moth, but that's a bit of a stretch. Either way, they are super adorable and I like them a lot. Number seven, Gaytox. Gaytox are kind of an alligator fox hybrid created by Muzz, one of my favorite artists. The first and only Gaytox for a very long while was their persona, Eddie, but Due to popular demand, they made it a closed species available through their adoptables. There doesn't seem to be any law for gay toxes yet. I'm just a fan of their designs, really. Love all that adorable fluff on something like Gatory and Monstery. Muzz has said they plan to make them an open species, so do keep an eye out for that. I know I am. Number six, Athletes. You may have seen one of these running around at Anthrocon the other weekend. Athletes were created by Ragehound as a sort of 
hilarious evolutionary marvel. They're basically a mix of dodo birds and derpy dogs and behave as about as incredibly stupid as you could imagine. I discovered them after Raychan got a suit of her one, whose name is Flitwick and absolutely adorable. But the thing that really caught my eye is that beak. The way it droops down into points on both sides is something that I've never seen before and they still have teeth. It's such a unique feature that really makes them stand out from other griffin-like creatures. The species is open if your design is mostly white or mostly black and has less than a total of five colors. But anything more is a rare variant and you will need to get manual approval from Rage Out first. Number five, Primogens. <laughs> No, I don't mean protogens, comments that keep correcting me. I'm talking about primogens. These are a closed species created by Kula Koinu, with a bit of help from Kaibok Studios when they are first getting their suit made by them. Primogens are cyborgs made up of about 70% artificial components and are based in an alternate universe. Due to their immense popularity, Kula Koinu then created protogens as an open species alternate that is kind of like a beta version of primogens. But primogens have always been my favorite of the two because I really love their raptor-like structure and those first two suits are some of my most favorite suits of all time. Be sure to follow Cool Koinu if you want a primogen of your very own because the only way to get one is to win one of their very competitive auctions. Number four, Critters of Chaos. <laughs> of chaos were created by the Aussie suit maker, the Menagerie costumes, and how can you not immediately fall in love with those wacky designs? They are escaped genetic experiments with their ID tags still attached, and they endlessly roam the Australian wilderness, usually in packs. TMC debuted their first eight critter suits all at once at the very first photo that I've ever went to back in 2015, and they have left quite the lasting impact on me ever since. Later one year I even got to run around in Riot, and let me just say, with those big stompy feet, that was, whoo, that was quite the leg day workout. As for their creation, the species is closed and only available through commissioning a suit through TMC. Alrighty, we are down to my top three. In the number three spot, I have Pancans. These are an open species created by CF Studios and are a hybrid between red pandas and toucans. Who would have thought that that combination would create something so adorable? CF Studios first made one just as a personal suit for themselves, but the resulting cuteness made every man and his dog want one, and thus the original species was established. There are a few basic guidelines, but other than that, you can let your imagination run wild. That's really the only reason they're so high up on this list. They just appeal to all my personal tastes. Long tails, birds, big floofy ears, big adorable eyes, just ticks all my boxes. Coming in at the number two spot is a species that, if you know me, you were probably expecting it to appear on this list at some point. It's Manokits. These are an open species created by Dubmutt, with features inspired by sharks, kitsunes, and canines. And their lore is inspired by Hawaii. Despite their aquatic features, they're actually land dwellers. They can't breathe underwater and they can't swim because of their weight and their offset center of gravity. But that doesn't mean they can't enjoy a nice paddle at the beach. One thing I love about Manukit lore though, is the way they reproduce. They don't have any physical reproduction systems, so they use magic to transfer a developing offspring into a hollow object. Usually things like coconuts, shells, logs, but I just giggle as imagining a Manukit fighting like a washed up McDonald's cup on the beach and being like, huh. What is this strange foreign relic? Hmm, I think this would be perfect to grow my child. If you have a mannequin, want a mannequin, or just like mannequins, I highly recommend requesting to join the official mannequins Facebook page. It's run by Dubbutt themselves, and the community there is just really lovely. And finally, in the number one spot as my favorite original species, is one that I don't think any of you would have guessed. I've never talked about them on the channel before, and I don't have a character of one, but man are they amazing. My favorite original species is... the Fluffy Shrimp. created 
created by one of my all-time favorite artists, Machiri. They have multiple original species under their belt that could have all made this number one spot. But Fluffy Shrimp take the cake on originality, simplicity, and just adorableness. There's no law that I could find for them, which is really unfortunate because I just want to obsess over everything. Fluffy Shrimp! I, I don't really know how to describe it. There's just something about the way they're designed that is really satisfying. The idea of a fluffy shrimp sounds like something that would never work. And yet, it does. It combines everything I love about land animals and aquatic animals into one simple package. I'm sorry, but they are a closed species. They're only available through Mochuri's adoptable auctions. The bidding does get pretty competitive too, so I'm kind of just like sitting and waiting for that one design that makes me go, oh, yes, that, that is my child. Quick, load the money cannons with my life savings. And that is my top 10 original species. If you're interested in any of these, please do go check out the description below where I have given you all the links to all the main places to learn more about each one. Don't forget to leave me your personal top 10 original species list in the comments below, or maybe there's a particular one that I didn't talk about. Feel free to gush about them in the comments. A patron shout out to Shadowpaw. Thank you so much Shadowpaw for your support for this channel and helping to bring this video to these guys. But of course, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.